Sony PlayStation announced 130 new games coming 2018 for their PS4 PSVR headset. The PlayStation VR headset has been such a success that more than 100 new games are now being planned. The virtual reality headset has been a boon for Sony as the first mass-marketed 360-degree immersive experience on the high street. There have been 2 million headset sales so far of the fledgling technology and game makers are hoping that will double in the coming year or so. Its success among gamers has given Sony the green light to make a load more VR games. They were promising upwards of 130 new titles for the headset this year alone. Bosses reckon the machine, which plugs into and is powered by your PS4 console, owes its great start to its ever-dropping price. The firm is the first to be able to offer truly 3D virtual gaming at a reasonable cost to consumers. Sony also believe it's going to be much more than just a video games device in future, citing a forthcoming planetarium application to explore space virtually and the ability to watch blockbuster moves in a 360-degree space. That's on top of some great non-gaming experiencing already available on the VR headset, such as BBC's Planet Earth in VR and watch films like Invasion, made for PSVR by the director of Madagascar. In a statement to Nikkei, Sony said it expects to increase its PSVR titles by around 80 by the end of 2018 to 280 games. Back in October we saw the price drop of the PlayStation VR unit and it is currently on sale at High Street Store Game in the UK for as little as £225. Comparatively, PSVR's main two virtual reality rivals cost markedly more. The Oculus Rift headset currently costs £399 in John Lewis, whilst HTC Vive retails for around £599. Sony's Shua Yoshida said last month that the firm continues to try to get gamers to experience the headset to really understand how good it is. He said, it's a small community. And we respect each other. I think, the success of any of us, is the success of all of us. Because, with. VR you have to experience it to really to understand the potential of this new medium. That's the most difficult part, we were struggling. You have to communicate, you can't just show the trailer, because the experience is different. Getting more people to try good VR for the first time is a win for all of us. We are working on good VR. Although some gamers have reported feeling sick by its motion controls, the VR headset was released back in October 2017 to strong reviews. To read our own impressions, follow this link, PlayStation VR Review.